Okay. I think we'll, we'll take to you, and then we'll take to you, and that's, I think, all we have time. So thank you very much. Uh, I have a two-part question. Uh, <laughs> and the first part is, uh, while the rollout of the OBIE can be phased, should the designing of it be done at one go, where, you know, like in an ERP situation, you would like to do a global design first? And so, from an OBIE standpoint, is there that element, that global element to it, where it has to be designed first in all, uh, you know, and then phased up? Uh, yeah, put it so, into that part. <laughs> it's, it's dependence. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I don't know what your guys' thoughts are, but, you know, when you're talking about a global design, are you talking about a global design from uh, a subject area? So, when you're rolling out, OBIE or any uh, PI project, you want to make sure you have a good program in place, right? Where you get your standards and your governance and, and uh, you know, you've got master data management and some of those types of things. And then when you're focusing on your implementation of OBIE or BI analytic applications, um, certainly develop your roadmap and, and what, you know, analytic applications you're going to roll up first. And let's say you take finance and you, you in a large global application, certainly determine What's our standards around it? What are our common definitions? Um, what are our requirements? I mean, you, you don't necessarily need to define that for every subject inside your organization because you'll be defining for a long time. That takes a little while. So you know, define it for a subject, but start rolling out. You want to have quick wins. You want to get the product in front of your end users. You want to start adding value sooner rather than later. I think you definitely need to begin. You, you begin with the end in mind, right? So I think that as uh, as Amy was talking, she was talking about programs. Obviously, you need to know what your end state wants, you want, what you want your end state to look like, but you need to be able to be flexible enough to be able to modify that as you go through the process of deploying your environment. So it sounds like you're starting with you know, one geography with the intention of rolling out to a larger geography. You have to know what the, the, the larger geography is going to look like. And the second part, which is sort of uh, uh, connected a little bit, is um, once they have the client group or the organization that's implementing the group identified, is there any merit to having that group undergo, undergo intense training in OBIE before they get involved in the project? Is there any merit to that? It depends on the roles. I mean, yeah. you've got to, it depends on what the roles are. If they're you know, executive management, no, they're not going to go through some intense training. If it's the development team, then absolutely. Nice. And you know, to add on to that, I do think that it's, it's great to definitely provide demos and, and high-level overviews of the product as you're rolling it out. So uh, make sure your end users really understand what the tool is and what it can do. So maybe it's not a deep dive training by any means, but you know certainly spend some time with them and help them understand what is BI and, and what what are we implementing because that'll help them think about requirements and BI requirements. So 